What's up, everybody? It's Crypto Muscle. Late night edition. And in this late night edition, it's the wrap up to the coronavirus having event of the century. It's well, of the decade. And, you know, this run up was, was like the Y2, you know, K situation, you know, where once it hits 2000, it's supposed to end. And all these things are supposed to happen. And then like Y2K, back when, you know, the year 2000 was supposed to hit from 1999 to 2000. You know, all these things are supposed to happen. Computers are supposed to go crazy. And all this stuff, this was the event that once this time hits the the bitcoin halving and then this monumental event is supposed to cause all this craziness and all this madness and as it concluded it went nowhere yes i know to many people's disappointments as it just kind of Went down early this morning, and now it's just kind of steadily, a slight steady increase going sideways right now. This is where we're at with this thing. That's the conclusion of the halfing, 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 and all that good stuff. So we're back to business with Bitcoin. And life can move on now. Coronavirus is still around. Uh, and Hex is still around. By the way, I got a Hex, I got a Hex situation for you to share. I got, I got something here. Big, big, big news to share with you. You guys are going to not believe this, what I got with Hex. And so, uh, I just wanted to share my insight on what happened with Bitcoin. And uh, my position still holds, you know, that um, it's still going to be on a decline uh, at some point in the upcoming hours and days. It's going to be on a decline. I'm, I want this thing to just sink. It's not. It's, this is not time for the bull market yet. You know, we're still. I'm still bearish, so we're going to see this decline as. You know, check this out, check this out. I don't do TA and all that, but look at this. So this is, you know, 17, 18, look at this. It's been on a boom. It was down in 2018, look at that. Bam, 2019 back up. It reached this peak at 2019 here. And then 2020. Could have reached its peak in 2020 here at, what was it, 10,000-ish. And it's continued to decline. And I think... Hey, let me just draw a line here. Whoa, oh yeah, look at those. Look at that line, you know. I'm a TA expert now. Not, but uh, yeah. So, that's my look on it. That we're on a decline still. That this whole uh, thing to make up for the run-up of this is not over yet. So, that's why it's going to go down, 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 down. To where? Who knows? I would love to get it anywhere under here the 5,000 mark or way below uh, but we'll see what happens uh, from there so now let's go on to hex right because hex is one of the hot stories of you know 2020 right now and with that uh, yeah I started you know in late 2019 and so it's the story of 2020 right you know, because it's, it's, you know, people are creating a lot of FOMO. And with all this FOMO, people are jumping in because they're in fear of missing out. You know what I mean? And so people are jumping in at, you know, higher prices, things like that. It, you know, it's been kind of more or less going sideways, right? A little bit ups and downs, ups and downs, but more or less going sideways, right? It's been hovering around this, you know, half a cent mark. All-time high has been 0 0.006. So 
So right now we're just a tad under that, you know. And it's up right now at this time from the corona having event. And by the way, the circulating supply is continuing to increase, as you can see here. 166 billion. And underline that word, billion. You know, that's why I cannot see this going to a dollar. Because the supply is just way... It's not like, you know, BitConnect, right? You know, when you look at BitConnect, that was a hot story back in, what, 2017? And, you know, the it went crazy. Everybody FOMO'd into it. Everybody was in it. Everybody was promoting it. Everybody was all about it. And you didn't have this crazy billion dollar, you know, billion supply, you know, coin. And so you have a run up of what, what I think it peaked at 300 some dollars per BitConnect coin at the time, or even more, but I think it was 300 some. And so um, that's why the price was what it was at. But here, I just don't see how, you know, as much as people are buying and collecting and hoarding. You know, all this hex, um, the supply continues to increase. So, I just can't see this hitting a dollar. Uh, one cent, okay. I, I could see that, you know, as it gets a little bit closer to one cent. But I can't see that hitting a dollar or beyond, you know. So, now with that, that's just my thought on it as the supply is increasing. I'm always staring at this number. It's going to get bigger and bigger, as you as you will see. So, with that, how what would you think out there, all you hex hex people, hex fans, and everybody else out there? I got some big, big news for you. Now, think about this for a minute. There was a platform out there way back when. 2017 2018 what if I tell you that there's a revival of sorts so let me give you a little bit of a background here extra coin so what if I tell you that there's possibly going to be a revival of Hextra coin. So let me walk you through a little bit of a background of Hextra coin, right? They, they had an ICO back in, uh, was it 2017, 2018? Because I remember when I first got into crypto, uh, I, I truly, there we go, the start date was 2017. I truly was thinking about getting into Hextra coin during the, you know, the ICO. Um, and it was one of my, you know, decisions, you know, should I get in this or should I get, you know, or should I not? Because I was deciding on other platforms to get into. And it was just one of those things where um, I chose not to go into it. <clears throat> so let's just see what they're about. So at the time, it was a proof of work, proof of stake, cryptocurrency based on that, peer-to-peer -peer network. Um, yeah, that's all it says there. And I think it might have had a lending aspect to it because that back then it was all about lending platforms and all that. And so uh, let's see here what the ICO information was back then. Yeah, because I remember I came around this time. And I truly thought about getting into this ICO and uh, I, I just didn't do it at the very end. And uh, there you go, see, so that was that, and so it launched, and didn't do too well, uh, it, it, overall, I mean, yeah, it launched, it sold its ICO, and in the end, it ended up going away, but extra coin here, what if I tell you that there is, or might be a revival tied to Hex? And so, with that, I want you guys to think about it here. 
a platform. Well, not in the sense of lending anymore. This is more of just bringing back a coin and putting it into the trade, you know, trade value here. And it's connected to what is bought and sold to Hex. You know how you have all those dApps out there and all that? Well, this is a platform to feed with Hex and Hextra Coin. So, the rumor has it that there is going to be a revival of Hextra Coin. So, I don't want to create any FOMO out there, you know, because, uh, you know, it may come true for you, the the hopes and dreams that all these other platforms are bringing for us. And now, I'll have to expose to you more of the truth. Oh, wait. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, see, they use an intelligent bot, such as is similar to BitConnect Coin and Regal, see? And they did a lending aspect to it. And so that's what happened there. So they did mining, a lot of good stuff back then. Now, I hate to burst your bubble, but I know some of you out there were FOMOing just for a second. And uh, sorry to burst your bubble, but this is not coming back. I just thought I'd just have a little bit of fun with all the hex people out there, you know, and. Uh, you know, just kind of throw this in there. Made me think about it, you know, I was thinking about the Hex. And I thought about Hextra coin of what happened back then. I didn't even, I didn't get into this. Uh, I just couldn't get into it back then. And I ended up going off in a different direction and uh, getting into a divorce uh, back then around this time. And, you know, the other ones I've talked about, the US iTech, BitConnect, and... Devor. Those are like the three at the time I first joined. And I bypassed Hextra. Oh, my, I was so close. I was, I was really on the fence about it. And I uh, just didn't get into it. So, uh, I just thought I'd bring this back up. Uh, you know, just for a little bit of fun. I know, I know. Uh, I think the hopes were going up a little bit for the Hex people out there. You know, they were... You were thinking about, wow, Hextra coin and Hex. And, um, but I have to burst your bubble. It's, it's not going to happen. But you know what would be funny was, is that if it truly does happen, then you'll heard it from this video. But I just made this one all the fun though. You know, just to kind of have you guys think about it for a minute. And uh, try to create a little bit of FOMO in your mind. And then at the very end, it was just uh, all talk and all in fun. So that's your Hex talk for today. It's continuing to, uh, you know, it's up right now. And uh, circulating supply is increasing. But this is the story of 2020 right here. So we'll continue to monitor this and see if it'll hit that eventual one cent and beyond or not and I'll stay on top of the hex news I used to do hex news along with daps but I don't know I'm just not interested in daps right now in terms of just talking about them they're all on the decline on that p3d style daps that are out there that I used to talk about they're all in a decline and right now the whole MLM style type daps the forsages and all these other ones that have come after that are all MLM style. And uh, that seems to be kind of like the trend in dApps right now. But I am I just have zero interest in them. So, um, but anyhow, uh, Hex. Um, I'm just going to continue to talk about Hex with Bitcoin and the shitcoin updates that I usually do. I don't have to talk about Apollo. I've already shitted on them right now already. Tron is still Tron at one cent. And so, yeah. So that'll be it for this video. Hope you had a little bit of fun with it. And, uh, yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And more to come in the next one. And other than that, see you next one.